Hello and welcome. Let's go over the engineering unit converter that TEST offers. To launch it, you can click the easily accessible icon here or go to the TEST steps module and you will find the converter app as it is a part of the TEST family, TEST steps family. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch the app. And you can see, what you see is that first there are three tabs. Uh, all means all the different measures. Uh, favorite means your favorite measures and frequently used measures. By measures, I mean a type of uh, quantity, variable, for which you want to convert units. So I'll use the terms measure to signify these, uh, going from you know physical constants, density, you name it. Uh, and so let's try out, say, a measure area, a familiar measure area. So you can see on the left is the from units and on the right are the two units. And the units are ordered by default from SI, the top one is meter square, to uh, uh, you know, foot square at the bottom, as you can see on the right side. And uh, the default measure is, uh, default value is one meter square has been converted to foot square. We could go find out how much is one meter square in yard square, for instance. Or instead of one, it could be another number. Let's say what is five meters square. Uh, in so you you click this uh, button to update the calculations. Uh, notice that you cannot make this unit converter. Uh, if you write here four, the answer is gone. In other words, it will never display an incorrect result. So four meters square is this much. Sometimes it's uh, handy to know, uh, you know, multiply simple numbers. Suppose you know the width and uh, simple algebra, suppose the width and height of an area is known. Um, so what is 4 times 10? 40 meters square. Uh, and again, you can calculate that with ease. Of course, uh, you can also see another button which will do flip the units. So sometimes it's very useful. Uh, one, one meter square is this much, one foot square is how much. It will just flip units between uh, left and right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see what other things we can do with the simple unit converter. First of all, uh, it has been already added to my favorite, it was already in my favorite menu, so you could remove it from the favorite menu or add to the favorite menu. So next time we visit unit converter and go to the favorite menu, you can see I already have area and energy as my favorite. So you don't have to navigate through all these different measures, find your favorite measures or whichever you use frequently, uh, you can see them here. Sometimes I use the uh, measure interest and mortgage, and you can see that again by default the number here is $380,000. But suppose you have a mortgage of let's say $200,000, and you have a 30 years interest, and let's say you're paying 3.5% interest, then your monthly payment will be $898. You can go to the info page, and it will give you not only how the system, how it's calculated, it will tell you the amortization or how your principal grows from month one. Uh, you will find measures such as different other types of measures, such as coordinates uh, of converting latitude, longitude uh, into different types of uh, standards. So it goes much deeper than just converting uh, length or energy, etc. Also, you'll find in the customized uh, page, there are many ways you can customize uh, a measure or unit. Suppose, let's go back. Uh, suppose you want to go to customize and, and you, you can sort the units from SI to English, the default, or alphabetical if you click here, everything is alphabetic now, or by value. That means the, sm the, the largest value uh, of the unit is shown here. One township is like, uh, you know, if you convert that to uh, a meter square or something will be huge amount. Um, so one township is <laughs> more than a million, you know, 93 million uh, meter square. That's the largest, <laughs> largest unit of area. Uh, more importantly, you can add custom units. So suppose you find a new obscure unit you want to add, you can just click that button and it will take you to a page where you can unit, you can teach this converter new unit. But what I will suggest, if you really want to add a new unit or new measure, just send us an email. You know where to reach us, support at thermofluids.net, and we'll be happily adding that. And that's how the unit converter is getting enriched every day or every month. 
Now, if this looks too much like a phone app, you are right. If you go Google engineering unit converter, then uh, you will find that it will show up here. And if you click on this page, I mean, from your phone, you can go to Google Play actually. And, and once you go uh, there, you can download the app, install it and, and run it. Remember, this app has not, is not going to track you where you're going or send your info. There is nothing. There's, there's only one way connection. You download it and that is it. And uh, for iPhone, we don't have it out yet. It's more difficult to publish anything for iPhone. But this app is free. Uh, and, and there's a 99 cents charge if you want to install uh, the, the plus version, which is then you can customize your units and you, you can do a lot of other stuff with a customized version.